Hey ladies and gents, Spoonie Pizzas here, bringing you another eFootball 2023 video. Today we're going to be looking at the Worldwide Player of the Week packs for November the 10th. So let's just dive into this player pack and just review these players. So we have got Mo Salah. Now he does slightly differ from the last Player of the Week's Mo Salah. And the key difference here, he's got one touch pass skill, which I, in my opinion makes him a better option than the last Player of the Week. So if you do pick up Salah, don't be too disappointed if you've already got him like myself. Next up is Kostic, and I love this player. I absolutely think this is a great card, in my opinion. The reason being is he's a different sort of left-sided player that I've already got, and he might be different to the sort of kind you've got as well. On my left side, I've gone for more of a dribbling player, but this player is just one of those types of players that you just take a touch and you whip the ball into the box as quickly as you possibly can because of his high kicking power, his high curling and high lofted pass stats going to make him absolutely superb for that. And he's got pinpoint crossing, which is obviously the key one. He's got track back, so he can act as a wing back as well. Just make sure you've got that those those tactical instructions set. But yeah, a great, a real good card in my opinion. Almas, a decent sort of left-sided player, but he can play anywhere across the midfield and not really one I could really recommend as there's better players out there. But he's got some good defensive engagement, so he can work backwards as well as going forwards. So he can sort of do both roles. But for me personally, there are better wingers out there that you could get. Just taking a look at his player skills, double touch is nice to have. And his one touch passing is good as well. Matoma, this is a nice surprise to see. This is a player who I signed very, very early on when I'm sort of building my team first off. Uh, because of the reason he's got tons of player skills, as you can see here. Scissor faint, double touch are nice to have. He's got one touch pass and first time shot. And here he looks to be a very, very good dribbler, but not all the best of end products. So it's pretty much hard to recommend him. You know, if you if you do pick him up, as again, there's better wingers out there that you've probably got already. Next up is Arnold, a defensive midfielder for Wolfsburg. And overall, he looks pretty good. He's a good passer of the ball, good ball control, so he can receive the ball very nicely. He's got good defensive engagement and good set piece taking as well. That can't be ruled out. Let's just take a look at his player skills. One touch passing, through passing, weighted passing, pinpoint crossing, all good to have from that defensive midfield. He does lack the interception and blocker stats. So again, probably pretty hard to recommend him as you've probably got better players in that position. Finally, David Lopez on this top rack and if we look at him, he's got good defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, defensive engagement, physical contact, and jumping. So he's a solid defender. He's got some good low pass and lofted pass stats and ball control. So he's comfortable receiving the ball. He's not the quickest, but not too bad for a three-star center back. If you are going to be playing, you know, if you are going to be using three-star or four-star cards, he's pretty decent. He's got interception and blocker as well, as well as aerial superiority. And like I said, he's got weighted passing as well. So with mixing in with that lofted passing, he can, you know, make use of that way to passing playing out from the back so not a bad three cut star card player if they ever bring in filters then that would be useful but otherwise i can't really recommend david lopez next up gerard piquet defensive awareness is really high 90 which is great defensive engagement is good his low pass and lofted pass stats are good he looks to be a little bit quicker he's got 65 acceleration 71 speed to his base card physical contact 89 so a solid defender he hasn't got blocker which is a bit disappointing but he has got interception aerial superiority man marking and weighted passing and slide tackling so those are good to have as well gabriel who plays for arsenal now not a big fan of the destroyer cards i do find them tend to be a little bit wayward when defending defensive awareness is good though defensive engagement is a little bit too low for my liking for a center back and for that reason it's hard to recommend him he's got man marking interception aerial superiority but he is lacking that blocker trait as well Icardi Mr. Steel Yo Go <laughs> but look at this card this guy is probably one of the underrated cards of this pack he is a five star player but that offensive awareness 89 is so high that is really, really good to have. Finishing is good. Heading's good. So he can do a bit of everything. He can get on the end of crosses. He has a fox in the box, which definitely suits crosses. So him along with Kostic could be a very, very nice pairing. So definitely a player that some may overlook, but I think he's he's definitely worth picking up if you can and wouldn't be too disappointed if you have him in your side. He's not a great player at like bringing the ball and bring other players into play. He is literally going to be like, get the ball, lay it off as quickly as you can to your midfielders, build from midfield, get out to your wide players, swing it into the box, and let this guy do the uh, do the talking with that fox in the box role. Now let's just take a look at the player skills of Akadi before moving on. So heading, he's got acrobatic finishing, first time shot, one touch pass. Luke De Jong, 
Another good player, Aerily. He's a little bit slower. He's got good offensive awareness as well. Better heading than Akadi, but lesser finishing. So another decent player that, whilst four stars, is actually pretty good. First time shot, aerial superiority, acrobatic finishing, and heading, all good to have, especially from an aerial offensive point of view. Definitely one that you could definitely use, and that fox in the box role, like I spoke about with the Cardi, is very, very useful. All great stuff to have, and this is why I could easily recommend him to be one of your strikers. And finally is Providal, one of the goalkeepers, and I don't think he's got any player skills. No, he has not got a single player skill. Not too important for a goalkeeper, but... You know, it would be nice to have like low punt to be able to like kick it out to your wingers. Goalkeeping awareness, goalkeeping reach, nice to have. But yeah, not really a goalkeeper I can really recommend. Okay, now I've reviewed the pack. Let's just see who I get with my free chance deal to sign someone. Probably won't use coins here because there's not too many players standing out. I would love Caustic or Ikari just to give me some, something a little bit different. It is the English Premier League. Five stars. Gabriel. Oh, it's Mo Salah! Wow! <laughs> Guys, I must be the luckiest guy, I swear. Either that or Konami have got some sort of switching on, switch on my account and they're just like giving me the best players because that's the... I've got Mbappe, Salah and then Salah again. Well, this Salah is going to replace the other Salah, I can show you that because of that one-touch passing. So, very, very happy with that. Love the disparity between the speed and acceleration. So, like I said, we will definitely keep... Both Salas. I'm going to lock him down. And I'm just going to give you a quick comparison. So this is a Salah I have. 93 offensive awareness. His acceleration is 88. Which is, you know, I prefer the acceleration to be above the speed. But like I said, he hasn't got that one touch passing. Which is the key thing for me personally. And now we look at the player that I've just rolled. Whilst the offensive awareness is less. His acceleration is higher. But he's got that one touch passing. So this is why I would choose this Salah over the other side and that is pretty much it for me ladies and gents thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel take care guys bye bye